goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So Madonna spent several days in intensive care after uh, developing a serious bacterial infection. This was on Saturday. They've kind of kept it hush-hush because she was supposed to kick off her world tour uh, this coming, or no, I'm in July, I believe. Yeah. Um, so they said that they're postponing it and she's getting better. She is still under medical supervision, but um, she's she's getting better day by day and they will keep everybody updated. So hopefully she gets better soon. Yeah, Very bacterial scary. infection. It is so scary. You see and all these like... Madonna's not young at, at this mm-hmm. point. Like, that's a serious issue. Yeah, 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 for sure. So hopefully she gets better. Uh, BB Rex of fans started a trend not a good one Uh, multiple people have been hit on stage while performing and the latest was Kelsey Ballerini she was hit right in the face Uh, she turned around kind of shocked her obviously she was singing she turns around and uh, and her violinist came over and was like looking at her face she stormed off stage came back and said can we just not throw things like at anybody and if you can't come to a show and be safe like what what is the point and I and it's Honestly, it makes me mad because you already can't bring anything more, any bag more than two inches by two inches. They're going to end up saying can't bring anything. And I like, and it's irritating because they ruin it for everybody. People that are just so dumb like this, you know? But you know what, though? I think there's only like one or two promoters left, really. So they should just flat out ban them from every live nation and or whatever show forever in the world. Yeah. Done. It's it's so crazy. So anyway, she's okay. She came back. But let's not make this a thing, folks. It it looked like a bracelet of some sort. I don't know. But all these people have really great aim because they're hitting them right in the face. There's some performers that want you to do it. Like uh, Mark Rebelay, if you've never heard of him, he's a funny YouTuber, amazing like live musician. And he was at uh, Brooklyn Bowl, and like, there's a part of the show and towards the end of the show where people throw everything on stage, and he just starts wearing everything mm-hmm, they bring mm-hmm. to the point where he's wearing like 17 t-shirts. Like, yeah. yeah, but unless you specifically ask for it, yeah, and like that's that's one thing is throwing a t-shirt, but throwing like a your, phone, your mom's or, ashes, or, or the ashes. My goodness, Good so crazy. Uh, Vanna White will not be on Wheel of Fortune unless she makes half of what Pat makes, and she's making it super, super clear right. Now, uh, her attorney said after 41 years as a model employee, um, I mean, asking for half of what he makes seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it makes me sad for her. Sorry. For 18 years, she's made the same amount of money. But she should have made this a deal a lot sooner. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, who's like her agent or her attorney or whatever? Like, when you assume that maybe at year 10 yeah you 15. bring this up sooner like yeah i she i think she sees the writing on the wall like if they're moving on from him although he's kind of moving on he's the, the one show. moving on yeah uh, but then she feels like she's unsafe so now she feels like she needs to start making it very clear that mm-hmm. she needs to be protected so listen i think she should be making way more than she's making yeah because if you know like how much wheel of fortune makes in syndication mm-hmm. she makes i mean that show makes bank yeah bank so for her to not get a raise in 15 plus years. And I mean, when you think about that show, you kind of think about her. Like how many times people are like, oh, Vanna. Like everyone uses it. Nobody's like, oh, you're Pat. They're like, no, you're Vanna. You know what I mean? Like when Nelly you're doing- ride with me. Yeah. Are they talking about Pat Sajak? No. <laughs> right, exactly. And lastly, Kevin Costner, the divorce still going on, even though there was a prenup. She filed for a divorce on May 1st. She had 30 days to get out. And she said, that's already past that time. But she said, I uh, am not going to get out until I find out how much he's going to give me so I know where I can live. So she's already gotten a million plus 200000 And she's asking for two. Hundred forty-eight thousand dollars in child support. That's insane. He's disagreeing with that. I will say he's not giving her a lot. Like they were married for a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's where the prenup comes in. But like that is a very small amount compared oh, to how she, much he's made. That he's made. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we'll see where they go. They're going to court right now to try to figure out a financial plan ASAP so she gets out. Sounds so, fun. Yeah. <laughs>